charges. And the folks in Santa Maria tell us they are very upset by that vandalism tonight. We have one example of how a Good Samaritan organization uses that camp to help people in need. News Channel 3's Natalie Tavidian is live with more on that part of the story. Natalie. Yeah, I spent the day here with some very special kids uh, from the Good Samaritan Shelter. And the officials at Good Samaritan Shelter tell me that a lot of the kids that were at the at their day camp here today wouldn't have anywhere to be this summer if it weren't for the camp and for this building. Where might some of these children be if they weren't here? Watching Netflix. I was pretty bored last year without this camp. And kids like Lily get to attend this camp free. A lot of things that they wouldn't be able to do. Um, they did three weeks of swimming lessons through the YMCA. Um, next week we're going to Fort Hope and Arroyo Grande for a week-long day camp. Every summer, Good Samaritan gives children a fun summer experience without having to pay for camp. Many of these kids live in shelters as their families work their way out of homelessness. As their parents pound the pavement for work, these kids have a safe Maria, let's go. and fun place to spend their days, giving parents peace of mind. A blue rocket Because it allows them to still work or to keep doing those goals that they're working on with case management at our shelters and to really just um, not have to worry about having the money to send their kids somewhere. And Alexis also tells us that the number of kids at their camp has doubled compared to years past. They had about 40 kids this summer and they had only around 20 last summer. And she says she's not sure why, but families in the Central Coast coming to their shelter are, have also increased this summer. Live in Santa Maria, Natalie Tavidia, News Channel 3.